Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store simply called Destroyed City. It does also have the little tag as free and we'll get round to that a little later on. So let's take a look at the asset itself. Quality wise, it's not too bad. It looks okay, at least at first glance. Now what I like particularly about this is the actual image on the asset store does indeed reflect what we see in the asset pack itself. And in all honesty, I like that the developer has just put a simple picture to this asset, exactly what you get in the asset store. No fancy po uh, post-processing, no fancy additional assets that aren't included, it is exactly what you get. And I really respect that because it gives you a good indication that that's exactly what you're getting. So quality-wise, yeah, it's quite nice. This is a demo scene, uh, which is always good to see. I do love demo scenes. Um, and if we go through it, we can see that if we zoom in on these details of the buildings, yes, they're a little bit blurry, but that doesn't mean to say that they're bad quality because they are not. This whole scene is really, really nice. And I always say, you know, add a bit of post-processing, customize it if you need to. It is customizable if you want to play around with it. Uh, you could change the textures if you want to. You could increase the normal maps, again, if you wanted to. It's something entirely, entirely up to you. And if we add the post-processing, then yeah, sure, we end up with some really, really cool looking effects. So if I quickly go to the game view and add just a quick post-processing profile, we can see how cool that looks. It's very reminiscent of a dark, a, a destroyed, eerie, creepy, empty city. Now, quantity-wise, we actually get quite a lot. Depends on how you look at it, I think, really. Because to me, we get quite a lot because there's a lot to look at here and a lot to delve into. So obviously we get uh, the models. There's a couple of different models. We get the prefabs uh, to walk around in. Uh, there's just different things to play around with. We get the scenes, we get the shaders. Standard assets are included in this for some reason, or at least partially included. Uh, and then we get the trees all there as well. So quantity wise, yeah, there's a decent amount. Uh, but if we press play, we can actually move the camera around with a mouse so we can see just how cool, nice, destroyed and awesome it looks. So just a little bit of post-processing has really enhanced how this looks. And obviously you can take much more time than what I've done. I've just slapped on a quick post-processing profile there just to see what it would look like. So extras, um, I suppose you could count the mouse look as extras really, but it's just a simple script that you can use. Uh, but one thing I did notice on this first person control is there are a couple of missing scripts. Uh, whether this is indeed the actual first person controller from the standard assets or not, uh, I'm not 100% sure because either way it has changed a little bit and doesn't quite look like this. But either way, there's plenty to use within this asset pack. And I mean, just look at it. It's, it's really, really nice. There's a lot you could do with this if you're creating some kind of destroyed city. How useful is this? Well, like I say, if you're creating some kind of destroyed city, a post-apocalyptic world, or just somewhere desolate, um, you know, just cast your mind to some like the first Last of Us, there were certain areas that gave this kind of aura, uh, that kind of thing, then yeah, it's going to be very, very useful. Uh, maybe some kind of first-person shooter or horror or survival horror or something like that. So yeah, it's going to be quite useful in a lot of different types of games. Folders are all neatly laid out, and if we go into it, everything is there that we can play around with. You know, it's it's always good to see neat and tidy folders because sometimes when you get folders which are just an absolute mess and they've got everything whacked in one folder, it can be a bit disorientating and it's hard to find specifically what you want if you want to customize things. Whereas this, we can quite easily find everything we need. Obviously, it's customizable to whatever extent you need it to be. You can play around with these things. You can add new buildings. You can move them around, do what you need to. But yeah, I, I quite like how this is laid out. The demo scene gives it a real sense of this is how desolate and destroyed you can make a city. Uh, let's go to the price. So it is free at the time of recording this video. Uh, prices do change all the time in the asset store. So if you come across this and it isn't free, just keep in mind that it was free whenever I uh, did this video. Uh, it is 176 meg, so if you're aiming for mobile devices, just be a bit mindful of that, because that is quite high. Now, one thing I want to touch upon here is the supported Unity versions, 3.5.6. Now, this is a very, very old asset. So if it was created uh, in Unity, what, 3.5, you know, was released around that time. It's been out for some time, I would assume. Uh, 
Now, I don't think I've ever come across this asset before, and I've been using Unity for about eight, nine years now. Um, I started using Unity about version four, um, so I, I don't think I ever really saw this then. But either way, it's a nice asset to use even in the modern day. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets, either recommend them or I don't, and I'd recommend this. I am going to say nice, straight up, yes. I'd recommend it. If you're if you're in need of a desolate city, destroyed city, a uh, post-apocalyptic world, some area that's broken down, destroyed, decrepit, then yeah, this is going to do really, really well. If you're creating some kind of fantasy game and you just need some distant, destroyed city, this is going to be awesome. This will do as a nice background as well. There are many, many uses to this asset in many, many different ways. So yes, I would absolutely recommend this asset. So guys, if you've got one on the asset store yourself, let me know. And if you've used this asset in any of your games, let me know what you think of it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. But if you don't like the asset and give it a thumbs down, let me know why. What could be changed about this? What is your beef with it per se? And finally, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon as well. And you can stay up to date with tons of development videos just like this one on my channel. Hopefully I'll see you around in another video. Thanks very much for watching, guys.